today we are going to discuss about the duct system classification duct type duct system name and duct abbreviation in revit first i welcome all my friends on my educational channel subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to get new videos like and share also draw ducts to understand these duct tools there are three default duct system classifications in the revit first is supply air second is return air and third is exhaust air duct Apart from these three duct system classifications, we cannot add any duct classification. Neither we can delete or modify any duct classification. These three duct classifications are fixed. The system type of these three duct classifications is always unrelated. We can view the same duct system type by expanding the families folder in the project browser. When we work on a project, we usually use these same ducts to create a HVAC model. But apart from these three ducts, we may need ducts as per the project requirements. For example, fresh air, makeup air kitchen exhaust air duct so to add a duct type we can create a new duct type using only these three duct classifications therefore we must take care that the duct type we are making is close to which duct classifications for example if we are making fresh air duct type its classifications are close to supply air duct. In the same way, while making kitchen exhaust duct type, we will use exhaust duct classifications. Now let me show you how to make a new duct type. We built a fresh air duct type. For this, the supply air duct system classifications is near to the system of fresh air duct in project browser so right click on the supply air duct to duplicate the duct system now rename this duplicated duct to give the name as fresh air click again to access the type properties dialog box and edit the graphic override modify the color of the fresh air duct so that it looks different from other ducts now select the duct from system type and draw it The system type in the properties palette is fresh air, but system classifications will remain supply air because we have created a fresh air duct system by duplicating the supply air system type. The ducts we have drawn, we can also modify their duct system and duct classifications, but for this, the duct must be disconnected from the ducting system that is the duct should not be attached to any air terminal air handling unit or any fan coil unit etc in the system select the duct to modify the duct system and change the system type in mechanical section of properties palette the duct will change on both system type and system classifications. Now we add the air terminal with the duct.
select the duct and go to system type. Only those system types will appear who built under the supply air system classifications. The duct system can also be modified. Now we undo it. The third option in the mechanical section is system name. When we draw a system, the Revit automatically generates a system name based on the system type. By selecting the supply duct, we can see its system name under the supply. Similarly, we see the system name of the rest of the ducts. Now we create a new supply duct. Revit creates a system name of this supply duct ahead of the first duct system name. In the same way, I make a new duct. The system name of the third duct became the next. Now, if I combine these three ducts together, then a single system of three ducts will be formed and the system name will also show the same. Therefore, the system starting from an air handling unit or a fan coil unit till the last air terminal connected to this system will have the same system name. The system name cannot be changed from the properties palette. Right click on the drawing working area to change it and select system browser from the further browsers drop down. The system browser will be displayed. We have made four systems in the model. So these systems are being shown in the mechanical section. Selecting a system in the system browser also highlighted the system in the drawing working area. Now the system name can be modified by properties palette. For example, if a system is being created from AHU1, then we give this system name as AHU1. The system name can only be assigned that is not already in use. We cannot give a same name to multiple systems. Then there are system abbreviations. System abbreviations are used to identify a system. For example, we use a SAD abbreviation for the supply air duct, RAD for return air duct, EAD for exhaust air duct, and as well we are using FAD for fresh air duct. Now we discuss the method to add the duct abbreviations. Add tags on ducts. After that, access type properties of supply air duct and write SAD in abbreviation section. Write RAD in the abbreviation section of return air duct. Repeat the same procedure in exhaust air duct as EAD and for the fresh air duct FAD. 
Now go to edit family of the duct tag. Access the size label and go to the edit label. Then enter the system abbreviation parameter in the label. The abbreviation parameter must be taken before the size parameter. Now load this tag in the project. Duct abbreviations will add along duct sizes. In today's lecture we have understood duct system classifications, duct type, duct system name and duct abbreviation in Revit. I hope you have understood this topic. Stay tuned for more educational videos, BIM Talks.